Hi, in this video we're going to do a long-term review of my mountain equipment Ibex walk-in pants or trousers if you're here in the UK. So Mountain Warehouse described these trousers as their signature all-round mountain softshell pant ideally suited to hill walking, mountaineering and alpine climbing. The Ibex mountain pant is both wind and weather resistant and exceptionally durable. The RRP for this pair of trousers is £90. But having had a look online in January 2024, you'll find them for around 60 to 80 quid, depending on where you get them from, and obviously there may be additional postage charges for that. So they're not the cheapest pair of walking trousers around, but nor are they the most expensive. But are they, irrespective of whether they're too expensive or the right value, are they actually any good for that price? Do you get what you pay for? Are they exceptionally durable, weather resistant, and are they ideal all year round soft shell pant? Well, I've worn them an awful lot, so I'll take you through what I think of them. So I've owned this pair for about four years now. I've probably done a couple of thousand miles in them. I do about a thousand to 1300 miles a year of walking. And these are my go-to pair of walking trousers, just because they're really comfy and they do exactly what they say in the tin. Now I'm not a massive fan of having loads of stuff shoved into my trouser pockets. So I tend to go fairly light in terms of what I put into my trouser pockets, but these trousers are absolutely ideal. You've got two lower pockets, both zipped, two upper pockets, both zipped, and then one rear pocket on the right-hand side, and that's also zipped. So for me, that's more enough to get all my kind of gear in that I want to carry. I tend to put little light objects into the various pockets just so I can get at it easily. So for example, I've got in here a spare battery for my camera. In this pocket, I've got a, another spare battery so they don't clunk into each other. I've got my mic in this pocket and I've got a pair of wireless earphones in this pocket. So I don't want to have too much weight dragging me down, I'd rather just pop stuff in a small bag like I have today if I've got too much weight to carry. The only thing they don't have is any kind of venting, but if you weren't using the trouser pockets and it was quite warm, if you open up the pockets that does provide quite a bit of ventilation down the sides in a similar way that you would get from a vented pair of trousers. In terms of durability, I have hiked in these trousers for a couple of thousand miles. I have hiked through brambles and general overgrown areas and stuff. I do loads of hiking in South Wales and I do loads of footpath following where more often than not you get into massive overgrown areas where you're just wading through horrific brambles and bushes and all sorts of stuff. These trousers have stood up to that absolutely brilliantly. I cannot really see a single mark on them to be honest. Um, so obviously I've sat down in many different places on many different surfaces, can't really see anywhere on the, uh, on the bottom of the trousers either. They have been absolutely brilliant in terms of that. And the other durability test I do on my trousers is I carry lots of camera equipment. I've almost always got a big camera bag slug around my shoulder with a full frame camera and a lens on it. And that camera bag will always rest on my right hip and obviously a long day hike it's constantly rubbing against the hip material and on lesser trousers i own several pairs of random trousers you will soon start to see the material start to bobble and fray in that area and you get exactly the same on lots of jackets and fleeces as well you get a real line where you can see where that strap has been on these trousers despite the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles of hiked with camera gear there is no sign that I've had that camera bag bashing against the hip. Mountain equipment, when they describe these as being extremely durable, yeah, they really are extremely durable and hard wearing. I have managed to damage these trousers, but it was entirely my fault and nothing to do with the, the trousers at all. I was rushing down the stairs with one of my pockets open and uh, I got a pocket caught completely on the, uh, on the child gate. So obviously my entire body weight going past it, it ripped the stitching out of the pocket. But it didn't damage the material at all. So the failure point of the stitching um, was really good because basically I can lend it to a friend and they just stitch it back up and it is as good as new. So in a strange way, <laughs> a good test and another thumbs up for their durability. Um, even if you damage them like a complete idiot, um, they're repairable and they're happy to keep hiking for a few thousand miles. In terms of comfort, they're a very forgiving trouser, which is why I wear them so much. Um, despite my weight fluctuations over the last four years, they've always been comfy to fit. They stretch and shrink nicely. <laughs> and I never feel constricted in any way. So just a pair of trousers you put on 
and then just forget about because you never feel them on a walk. You never feel um, them constricted in any way if you're doing any kind of scrambling or you're hopping fences or climbing over rocks and stuff. And you never feel any kind of rubbing or material impact as you're doing those long hikes. Now they are an all year round trouser. You might find them a touch warm in summer conditions, but for the rest of the year, they're gonna be absolutely fine to wear. They regulate your temperature really well. They do keep out the wind in terms of weather resistance. Yeah, light showers, drizzle, that kind of stuff. You can be absolutely fine in these, but obviously they're not waterproof. They're not sold as waterproof, they're just sold as weather resistant. So if you're gonna head out in really rainy conditions and um, for any kind of prolonged period, pop a pair of waterproof trousers over the top and you'll be absolutely fine. Now in the UK, obviously, our four seasons aren't particularly extreme. So I've worn these trousers in snow and other conditions, been absolutely fine. As long as you are hiking fairly fast, you'll stay warm. Obviously with this pair of trousers, they're not insulated really in any way. So if you're gonna sit down somewhere, taking the views and stuff, you might find your temperature start to drop. And as I said earlier, they're not vented anyway. But if you're not someone who uses your pockets too much, you can open those pockets up and use those as vents as well. And if there's biting wind or cold conditions, make sure all the pockets are zipped up and you'll get an extra bit of warmth and wind protection. Being a soft shell trouser, they're not the lightest trousers around. Uh, the Mountain Equipment web website says about 454 grams. I assume that's based on probably a, a size medium or size large. So not the lightest trousers around, but not heavy by any means. And that also means they are fairly quick drying if you do get wet in the rain, but obviously they're not going to be the quickest drying trousers. You can get a lot lighter trousers if you want to. Now, so far, it's a very glowing review. You probably get the impression that I absolutely love these trousers because I absolutely do. But they do have one downside. It's not a critical downside in terms of you can definitely sort it, but it is a bit annoying. And that is the belt. The belt is absolutely useless. It doesn't hold <laughs> any tension whatsoever, really. So you can tighten the belt up at the start of your hike and then very shortly afterwards the belt will slacken because the mechanism just doesn't hold the tension. So if you've got a big pack on or you're hiking quickly, you can find your trousers do slip slightly because the belt just does not hold tension at all. So I do keep meaning to replace it. I've just never got around to it. It's kind of a sealed unit so you'd have to um, cut the belt out and before you take it out you'd have to um, attach the new belt to the old one so when you pull the old one out the new one would thread through so I just haven't done that yet. Right so the belt is a bit pants the rest of the trousers I've got no complaints whatsoever. Now obviously if you're watching this video because you are thinking about buying a pair this is hardly going to be a revelation to you because I'm pretty sure you would have found like I did when I was looking into them almost exclusively glowing reviews of these trousers. They are a really highly recommended pair of trousers. And if you're ever about, out and about in the hills and mountains, you'll probably see lots of people wearing mountain equipment trousers because they are very, very good. At 90 quid, it's way more than you usually spend on a pair of walking trousers, but fair play. I've worn them so much and they've worn so well that even at 90 quid, they'd be really good value for money because they're just going to last me absolutely years. Um, they don't even feel broken in yet, to be honest. So great value. But then having said that, looking online between 60 and 80 quid, if you're paying around 60 quid for them, yeah, a really, really good bit of gear. And as people say, you know, you buy a good bit of gear and it will last you so long, it probably is good value over the longer run because you're not replacing 20 pound pairs of trousers frequently. So yeah, highly recommended. So if you are in the market for a new pair of walking trousers and you don't need to be waterproof and you don't mind spending a little bit of money, I cannot recommend these highly enough. They are my favorite pair of walking trousers. They're my most used pair of walking trousers and they are lasting extremely well and uh, serving me extremely well in terms of comfort and wind protection and weather protection and everything else. So a very, very happy purchase and uh, my most expensive bit of um, trouser gear I've bought and I don't regret it one bit. So if the video has been helpful to you, just give it a thumbs up and then consider watching something else on my channel. Anyway, a huge thanks for watching if you made it this far and maybe I'll catch you in the next one.